Hey everybody, welcome back to another movie review. As I said on the channel, uh, we were going to do more movie reviews, and uh, this is the first of a couple that will be on this channel, so just giving you all a heads up on that. Um, uh, I just got out of seeing Tar, uh, which is uh, written and directed by Todd Field, I believe, and um, I'm not familiar with his work, um, but this is the first in, I believe, 20 or so years that he has directed something. And uh, stars Kate Blanchett as um, as uh, uh, Linda uh, Tarr, I believe is her name. Um, or uh, I believe she likes to have her name done in a certain way, but um, or phrased a particular way. Um, and it's a, she is a... Uh, uh, according to the film, uh, one of the greatest conductors um, in the world, and she um, at first is portrayed as this tormented figure that um, has um, that is dealing with some kind of trauma, um, and is having this uh, um, uh, this depressive state while also having this anxiety to her, and. You f you are led to believe at the start that 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 you're ha supposed to have sympathy for this particular figure, but you you find out very quickly that it's actually is meant to be the complete opposite um, of that, because um, what you get in Tar and I felt I I felt it at a particular moment and it just kept like shouting at me throughout the entire film, and that is that the film is absolutely a study on narcissism and about um, the death of an artist, um, or the death of an artist with, that has these narcissistic-like qualities. Um, because it's a character that you... It's a character that you have two feelings for. One is some form of sympathy, but the other is extreme hatred, or extreme, lo like, loathsome, because you just... The, the attitude of the character is... Um, is um one that you are not that you find uh, like i'll put it this way it's a character that you absolutely love but it's a character that you also particularly hate because of the qualities that she possessed but that has nothing that has nothing to, against the film because all that i'm saying is that um the characters like like at the core of what that character is it's a character that you don't like and that is the point of the film is to show that that is a character that you are not supposed to like, um, while also simultaneously showing you where that comes from, and it's sp it spawned from uh, trauma and of some kind, and this growing guilt that this character has um, um, from a recent event that she is discovering on her own. Um, and I thought that just the character of of a uh, of a uh, Linda is just extremely compelling because even though at the base of it it is about narcissism there is so much to her character a lot about um again this idea of of trauma that she holds and this growing guilt that she has um then she's haunted by 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 some ghost of her past um, like there's a loot, there's like, there's like, and they manifest in certain forms. Sometimes you see it, sometimes you don't. Um, there's this, at one point, this idea of a dog and she's just like running away from it. And it's a character that never, ever wants to confront, confront her past or really, um, um, really wants to, you know, to proper healing. Instead, what she wants to do is just continue to run away from it and to, put that type of energy towards her work and um and to to the to, to the base of that that is what an artist does you know that a lot of a lot, a lot of artists express themselves through their through their work but do in doing so there is a naiveness there's a distance that she that she get, that she makes with everybody around her that she makes with everybody around her funny enough throughout the entire film the character expresses about uh, how everyone around her is, some, is somewhat a robot. Yet, funny enough, when you see these robots, they're actually much more um, uh, humane than she is because she expresses herself in a very particular manner. She has to do things in a certain way. And she almost all the time cannot really 
register human emotion or does but doesn't really want to deal with it um, there's a point where someone is dealing with like extremely hard emotions um like it's uh i believe it's her assistant at one point and what we see is how abusive she is emotionally again she is at the core a narcissist and um and we see how how she deals with things and how she treats people around her and um, as the story shows, the extents of what narcissistic abuse can be. And um, this is where things get, like, I, at one point I just was in awe of it because um, it is an extremely relatable piece for me. Um, I won't say in what capacity, but um, I have dealt with narcissists in my, in my past. And I have, I'm not trying to be, you know, trying to, uh, uh, trying to, you know, say anything, but I have personally have been through some forms of, you know, that kind of abuse. And I can just see so much of somebody and or some other people within that character. And, um, like they're just dead on the money when it comes to what narcissism looks like. And, um, it is like disturbingly like, 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 like it's scary because you see, her growing like how like every like 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 when everything starts to, to fall apart for her because like i said it is it is also at the core of it about the death of an art of an, of an artist because of the of their um of their uh narcissism um and their failure to confront their their own feelings and to really do proper healing um You see how through all this, like, this downfall, how she just becomes more and more aggressive and her narcissism becomes extremely strong and more expressive and more, um, how should I say it, more, because uh, everyone around her, like, everybody doesn't like her. Like, that's the other thing that, that is subtly presented throughout the film is that everybody doesn't like her, you know, and it's only when she becomes more and more, you know, um, you know, her emotions become more um, up front and she begins to really portray it um, or, or her uh, her narcissism becomes just more strong. It's then where we see people start to leave because um, because it's more, um, um, how, do I say, how, should I, how should I say this? Um, it's more, um, it's more, uh, um, what's the word I'm looking for? It's more, uh, ah, damn, I, I cannot find the word. What I'm trying to say is that it's more, uh, like, you could see it more. Like, you could absolutely see it more, you know? Because, you know, narcissism is, is also a very hard thing to notice. So seeing her at a certain point, a lot of people will then be able to see that, oh, yeah, she does possess certain qualities that we've been hearing murmurs about, you know, from other colleagues. So I, I think that just from writing, it is spectacular because the character is not one-dimensional and it's not it's not only just about narcissism again there's these illusions these ideas of that she's um of, of like ghostly uh qual spirits or things that she is hearing um or again that this this idea of her never ever being able to confront her her trauma or the past and they never really say what her past was and we don't need to there's that's not the point of the film um, but we, again, see where this narcissism comes from. Um, but it doesn't make her any, any, uh, like we have some sympathy towards her, but we're not, um, we're not rooting for her to succeed. And that is the point of the film. It is not anything that takes away, it's not anything that takes away from it. It actually elevates it. Um, like at some points you're rooting for the character to fail, and I'm not, and not to say, not to give away the ending, but it's a very fitting ending for that character. Where that character ends up, you just end up being very happy because it's, it's fitting, you know, it's fitting for, for this particular character. Um, but I thought the character, the character and the writing around it, I thought was just splendid. I absolutely adored watching this character unfold because um, it just has so much dimensions to it. Um, not least of which brought to life by Kate Blanchett, who is just brilliant in the film. Um, there's at some points where you just cannot see her in the role. She is just completely transformative 
and mesmerizing in this. Um, and I love how I love the pace of the film as well. It just it takes its time. It lets things unfold properly. It doesn't just make things too quick or this or that. Um, and it slowly turns into a horror film, you know, because uh, um, at the beginning, like I said, you're led to have some some kind of sympathy for her. But then as the film begin, begins to um, present itself more and you get to really dive more into this character and you um, and you see um, her her growing guilt and her um, her narcissism um, like that. There's at one point I won't say what it was or actually I will say it because it's not giving away anything. Um, but there's at one point where uh, she answers the door to someone and um, they're it's like realtors are basically like they're trying to sell a house next door and they're asking her for to, to keep it down and her reaction to it is extremely disturbing um because it just puts in perspective to me what this what a narcissist basically looks like um and it reminded me so much of somebody else in my life it was just incredibly incredibly disturbing um and in a way that's a be the best way to describe tar it's a it's it's disturbing and scary and um and just completely intriguing mesmerizing there's just so many words that i can use for tar because it's just brilliant it's just a brilliant brilliant film with a fantastic performance at the center of it um that really is what keeps the film together I mean, obviously the writing also is just exquisite just 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 masterful um but the performance by Kate Blanchett is it like the film relies very much so on that performance if that performance did not work then the film wouldn't be as as breathtaking as it is um the writing is is also as i said as excellent um but it's it's really that performance also that keeps like brings everything together um, and I'm just completely blown away by it. I, I think that it is, um, like the, the best comparison that I can give to Kate Blanchett's performance when I was watching it and to the whole film, actually, because I was thinking about it a lot throughout Tar is Phantom Thread. Um, and particularly for Kate Blanchett, Daniel Day-Lewis in that film, um, a lot of just her looks and just the way she presents herself, her aura reminded me so much of that character from Phantom Thread. And they're also in some ways similar characters. Um, I'm not sure if I would label Daniel Day-Lewis's character as a narcissist um, in that particular film, um, but um, but their attitudes and their behaviors and a lot of their um, a lot of their trauma, you know, like a lot of their a lot of where that behavior stems from is very similar when it comes to these uh, when it comes to comparing the, to those those characters. And just in terms of an aura, again, there's a, a ghostly quality to Tatar to um, that reminded me very much of Phantom Thread. Um, but I thought it was just just really disturbing, um, fairly scary, completely mesmerizing work from Kate Blanchett, just an exquisite writing, just beautiful writing and that just creates such a fascinating character study like there's so many layers to this character it's not an it's not at just narcissism there's 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 trauma there there's anxiety there there's o there's there's ocd that can be that can be found in in this character as well because she has she wants things like there's at one point where she where a book is missing on a shelf and she you know she just becomes extremely obsessive and her anxiety just becomes you know just like comes to the forefront and she just very much wants it you know put back on that shelf and she wants things done in a certain way within her artistic expression when she's operating with the orchestra she just you know listens to a particular sound and she's like nope that's not what i want that's not what i want um so it's just like i, I can go on about it because there's just so much to it that i absolutely loved about it but at the core of what I loved about it, of course, the, the writing and the Kate Blanchett's performance is just brilliant. Um, and I love 
that the film doesn't give that the character like because you're led at some points to think that maybe this character is going to get some kind of redemption arc but i love that the film doesn't give that to her because like a narcissist they, they it's just it's just very hard to, to for them to be given such redemption especially when you understand the when you understand what this character um what this narcissism what this ab abuse did to a particular individual in, in the film um there's just no redemption for that and I, I, I love where she ends up. I absolutely love where she ends up in the film, at the end of the film. It's a very fitting ending, and it very much, um, you know, it, it's, it, it's just fantastic. I, I, I just, I love this movie so much. I can rave about it more, but it, it this video would be too long, but, um, I absolutely love the film. I think that it's brilliant. I think that, um, more, I hope that you guys see it, um, but do know that it is like like the stranger this year it is very much so a horror film it is and it's 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 deeply disturbing i if if anybody has ever been around a narcissist you will find this deeply disturbing um but and Kate blanchett again just brings that all those qualities that narcissism that um that trauma that she holds that um this things this 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 severe anxiety these um this ice, this disconnect that she has from social life, um, um, and the growing guilt that she, like, again, so many things that you can pick at, and all of it comes from the writing, and just this brilliant, brilliant performance at the center of it, um, so I highly recommend that you seek out, uh, Tar when you get the chance to, because it's, it's just brilliant, watch it on Halloween, again, it is a horror film, and I think that, um, I think it should be viewed as such because in any other respect I feel it would be undermining um, what the film is trying to portray and the type of tone from it you know and all that kind of stuff so it's a brilliant piece it is just brilliant and there's I don't think there's any other word that does it justice just brilliant piece of work um, so that's my thoughts on tar you guys let me know your thoughts if you guys went out to see it um, I just, I love this thing so much. Um, you guys let me know your thoughts in the description box, description box in the comment section below. And that's going to be it for me. Hope you guys enjoyed this review. Stay tuned for more reviews in the future. And until then, you guys keep safe, wash your hands and all that stuff. Be safe out there for Halloween. There's, you know, there's, you know, some stuff can happen. Just be cautious when you're out there doing your trick or treating or whatever. And Obviously, I hope you guys have a fun holiday and a safe one. And until then, I'll catch you guys in the next video.